Alright guys, well I'm back. This is Prime Evil Panda with the Honest Panda Show, and we are now on Chapter 2. I stopped the last one a little late, but, you know, I had someone else actually watching the stream, and I didn't want to interrupt with all the, you know, formality of my closing of the story. But, anyways, let's continue on with Chapter 2 of Episode 2. What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. That he does. Oh, I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. I'm not let's, fucking around here. Let's dude. try to stick with the nonviolence. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Um, picture. Why not? Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. Seriously, of course, Snow White. But I can't tell you what I don't know. You Just love Snow. Tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment? Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things, same as you. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Well, I either I go after him or someone else will. Get my stuff back now. What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Sometimes even the smallest thing can give a clue, though, Crane. What's that? You straps. I know you enjoy my company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. You just carry this around. Always handy that way. Red Hill, huh? 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 You want a drink, sir? I couldn't hurt, I guess. Drinky, drinky. Huh? This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? To girls? I thought it was only two. But okay. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. Yeah, but you were clearly looking for something. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. No, probably should use both hands. Can we move this there along? <laughs> I'm saving that. Well, I'm smoking it. I can offer you your. Here you go. Huh? You want some? Yeah, all right. You know you do. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> this is ridiculous. He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince. What's next, baby? You're gonna give him a massage, offer him a nice steak dinner, Bluebeard? I've already heard your opinion. This is working. Like hell it is. You think you're getting results? I'm getting more than That's you were. That's enough from you, Bluebeard. Trying to keep with the good guy act for now. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. 
fight was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. So what'd she steal then? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Hmm. I better get that back. Ah, oh, that is very tempting. Ah, screw it, I'll put it down. I better keep talking. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. I can't give you that information. Ooh, so I'll go That's talk to Beauty. Gotcha, gotcha. no way gotcha. you would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. Kinky. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us, and you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? Come on, man. I already got doing? enough. Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now. Are you enjoying yourself? Immensely. You need to leave. Now. Come on, Bluebeard. You look a lot like Doctor Strange, just saying. Not the Marvel Doctor Strange, by the way. But the DC Doctor Strange. No. What's going on down here? Dum dum dum. Snow. See? At least I played the good guy card. Clearly there was no murder. At least the previous night. There were almost two chapters in the prologue this time. That is weird. But okay. I guess that works, right? So Bluebeard is the bearded Mr. Clean. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are just, you know, as they've always been. Let's find out what White, you know, White has to say. Miss White, Snow White, Snow, whichever name you want to call and call her by. Episode two: Smoke and Mirrors. Dum bum bum. Damn, dude, you're gonna break your keyboards that way. What the hell was going on down there, Big B? Abusing a prisoner like that. Yeah, except it wasn't I me. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. I really did this time. Yeah. What? You don't believe me. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead. I was working on this case. So where'd After you get the head? After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. You a strong girl, miss? No. What is it? I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel 
responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. Yeah, but only if that was the case. To find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's oh. what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Which is someone wanted this office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh man, that's gotta hurt him. Right in the heart. Look at that, right in the feels. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. Oh, yeah, I bet your prostitutes are paid to look like other people so people can get their jollies off when they can't get the real person. Based on the, you know, world this game is in. Alright. Well, damn. Apparently that was already the end of Chapter 2 of Episode 2, so I have to call that one an ends too. These first ones are going super fast. Hopefully the rest of the chapter stretches out at least a little bit longer. Um, so, as always, have a great night. Stay safe, stay warm, enjoy the holidays, because I'm recording this during the holidays. And, you know. <laughs> Anyways, have a great one, everyone.